Greetings, Cybertonians. My name is Mr. Swindle with Unprofessional Video Reviews. And at times there are figures that really surprise me with the play value and the quality of it. But then there's also figures that really don't. And this is one of the figures that really took me by surprise. That figure is none other than the War for Cybertron and the Leader Class Ultra Magnus. Doesn't matter which version, there's three, four different ones, the Premium Finish, Siege, Kingdom, and then the Spoiler Pack. This is, my version is a Spoiler Pack, but it, honestly, all four are pretty much the same. But let's get into why this figure is actually a really good playset. And, uh, yeah, all I'll say right now is uh, I don't know if, the, if I have it transformed right. And so here we have Ultra Magnus in his Hulk mode. Again, uh, background and ground. I'm unprofessional, so you can take your complaints and put them in your magician's hat. Anyway, I mean this figure, I do want to say that the spoiler pack, at least for me, I love all the damage on him, like the grayed out part. Something that I want to discuss in another video, which... I have lots of videos I can make, but I really like how Siege went with a battle damage effect. Because me, as someone who's 17 years old, plays with, still plays with toys, rough, ping shipping, for the most part, I'm okay with because there's, it's battle damage, you know? I mean, hey, it's already like that. Oh, uh, I, um, hang on. Oh, again. Oh, that fell. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Um, just coming in here for a quick second. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Anyway, I'm um, coming in here. Do you gotta say that this whole trailer thing, I, again, don't know if I transformed correct because these, I don't know if they plug in. This doesn't plug in, and this, I don't know if it's fully plugged in. And stuff inside. I don't know where it's supposed to go. I don't even know if I saw the instructions. They're probably in this box behind this Lego mat. But, um, like, I really don't have any, anything else to say. This is a good figure. At least my version. You know, I mean, there's four different versions of this. I would say get the version that you would prefer, much rather prefer to have, and go from there. For a quick size comparison, because I don't have any other... Uh, vehicle, uh, uh, to uh, Transformers in vehicle mode is a Studio Series 86, a uh, hot rod, and they, you know, a good next to each other. You can actually, he actually stores very well on top. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'm gonna get him out of here, put him back on my shelf. Um, and now I guess it's time for the transformation. And so to start off with the transformation, first you're going to want to unplug these, put them off side, unplug these, put them off to the side, okay, and then you have this, then you're going to, good luck, going to want to untab this, untab that, then untab the whole thing from him, and let's deal with this. So first, uh, just untab everything, unplug everything, untab these, uh, put these up. Put these up as well. And then you got all that. Uh, so let's deal with the legs first. Uh, I actually don't know how to transform these 9 times out of 10. So... Uh, again, I... Hey, that's it. There's the foot. So then, uh, same thing on this leg. Um, except hopefully be better at doing this than I am. There we go, there's a second foot. Uh, get this down. Uh, have this like this. Okay. And so then put all of his armor off to the side. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, then you come around to the cab. And I think that this will actually be a good stopping point. So here it is, Siege Ultra Magnus in his kind of just cab mode. Um, nothing really fancy, just a white truck. Um, transform. I, I'm not gonna go into detail about this. I mean, it's just white. Whoop-de-doo. Transformation. You want to unplug 
both of the arms. You want to unplug the legs, spring them down. Uh, you're gonna it's, you go like that. Unplug the arms, bring that out, bring the head out, and pretty much bring the heels out like so. And there we have Siege Ultra Magnus without his armor. And I just want to say it's not gonna be really a really long segment, but I gotta say I kind of like this because in my kind of canon, him and Chromia are the pairing. And I don't know if that's how it is, but I would say he's good. He's Voyager size. For size comparisons, we have here the size comparisons. Here we have G two Darrington Stux Ramjet. Uh. And, and here we also have Siege Voyager class Acid Storm. There we go. Great figure. I'm going to be doing a review on the Rainmaker soon. But, you know, I got to choose my battles. Anyway, posability on Sky. I uh, got actually one thing first. I love that head. Like, it's just really amazing. I don't know if it's the same on all the other ones. But I really like it. Oh, and you're supposed to bring this up. But, okay, who cares? Then you got a ball joint to head. Rotation at the arm. Arm can move out. Bicep swivel. Bend at the arm. Uh, swivel at the wrist. It's a bit tight. Waist swivel. Ratchet kick. Uh, like, moves. It moves back more, but I... Again, I'm unprofessional. Spread. You got a thigh swivel. Bend. That's really tight. A, piv a slight pivot. And a heel... So, possibly on this guy is not that bad, but let's get him powered up now. So, you want to power up your Ultra Magnus. Well, it's actually not that hard. First, heels, you want to put them back in. Uh, you would want to bring this down, but I've already done that. But you want to uh, put his head, this will transformation, you want to put the head back in, like so. Bring the arms back, like that. You're going to bring down this crotch plate sort of thing and flip it around. You want to bring in the legs and put in this, the legs, like so. And one thing I'll note later on is this, these really weigh down the leg. But, yeah, uh, plug these guns in here. Hey guys, I, don't, I really haven't found a better place to put them. I want to bring both these in, unplug them, plug them into the appropriate arm, like so, and like so. Uh, you're going to want to bring the head thing in, plug it into the back, plug it into the back, like so. Uh, get these pie, the shoulder guard things. You're going to want to get the missiles plugged into the appropriate one, like so. Oh. And I'm going to do the other one off screen because it's kind of hard to doing it on camera. Like so. And here we have them. And all I'm going to say is, supposedly is the same. And the uh, things on his leg really weigh him down. So those ratchets ultimately are useless. But I will say, for my second ever Ultra Magnus figure, actually first, I really don't count that 2001 half there, Ultra Magnus. I would say, this was a point in time where this was my biggest figure. Then Jetfire happened. Um, I don't have any... Okay, I do. For size comparison, with the only readily... readily, readily oh, I cannot speak. Oh, okay. For our size comparison, we have Steel Series 86 Cup. And here we have Nova Storm. Or the yellow one. So, Leader Class Voyager, or Leader Class Voyager Deluxe. And I would say he scales fine. I mean, I'm not a big one on, oh, scales everything. But, you know, it is kind of nice to have some ones that are bigger, some ones that are smaller. But... Going back to the thing on this figure being a playset, it comes with accessories. 
You can power him up, depower him up. He has that vehicle mode with the uh, uh, transport. Comes with a gun, which on mine is. I've had this figure for like a year now. Okay, it's, I I don't expect it to stay in perfect condition. Um, this arm kind of falls down, but oh, this isn't plugged in. Make sure that this is plugged in. This is all the way down. But I can say that. Even though it's a spoiler pack. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, he also came with this guy. So, yeah. Uh, he has a ball joint at the arm. Uh, waist swivel and a ball joint at the leg. Anyway, uh, not doing a whole thing on any of my MicroMasters. But he's there as well. Comes off with some energon. And I would honestly say that... This is a really good playset. However, I do have one thing to say about it. Hey Hasbro, I would like to buy some of those spoiler pack Ultra Magnuses. What, this guy? You, you want this guy? All right, we'll give you 10 million of this in stock. We'll give you 10 million of this to sell. Wait, no, 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 no. Hasbro, that's way too much. We're gonna have to put this on sale. We're gonna have to put it on sale for like $34. And you're going to lose money. Do we look like we care? We're Hasbro. We make money all the time. We don't care if we lose profits at all. Spend. Spend your money. Spend your money! So anyway, that was my review on the spoiler pack. Uh, Ultra Magnus. If you thought this was good, hit a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Tweet about it. Do whatever you want. Um, I hope you enjoyed my skit. You know, I put a lot of effort into it in about the two minutes that I took making it. Again, I'm professional. Uh, this figure is kind of good. Bring him in for one final look. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sorry I have to do this on all of you. I hope this doesn't bring back any flashbacks for anyone. I really hope it doesn't.